Welcome to the Barclay Redenbaugh Show, sponsored by Cruz Chevrolet. Kevin O'Rourke alongside the head coach of the Bucks as CSU gets set to play three of its next four games at home, starting this Wednesday against Presbyterian and Saturday, UNC Asheville comes to town and coach. Interesting opening week, really good performance against Coastal Carolina, 70 to 58 win. Then you run into a hot shooting Winthrop team. Not a great performance for you guys. So you're one and one after the first week. What'd you take out of the opening week of conference play? Well, certainly we know that um, the Big South uh, run, uh, 16 games is going to be very difficult. Um, it's a little bit different for us where everybody's big game this year. Um, we, we're getting everybody's best shot. I thought against Coastal Carolina, we came out and performed very well, particularly in the first half, uh, executed our game plan, and then not so much against Winthrop. Um, I thought we battled physically. I thought uh, our execution, particularly in the second half, midway through the second half, got a little bit shaky. And then defensively, we've got to continue to make strides on guarding people's three-point shots. So Charleston Southern hosts Presbyterian this Wednesday. First, we'll take a look back at last week, starting with highlights from the conference opener against Coastal Carolina. And the last time Shanta Clears came to town, you guys were able to clinch the Big South regular season title. And as you said, the opening 20 minutes, probably about as well as you guys have played all season. Yeah, we played well. Uh, we moved the ball. We were able to uh, attack them defensively just the way we had designed it. Uh, and then when we make shots, Kev, we're pretty tough. And we made 10 threes in the first half. Uh, you can see here on the highlights, we're really doing a good job of moving the ball, moving it out of the ball screen. Uh, Will Saunders has continued our tradition of, of having a stretch four that can really shoot it. Uh, might be the best shooter in our league right now, the hottest shooter in our league right now. So certainly a good performance. Uh, after you make some of those threes, it opens up driving lanes uh, for us to continue to penetrate, to get some two. Uh, point attempts and and continue to uh, to shoot the ball from behind the arc. Uh, defensively, I thought we made a lot of strides, uh, particularly in our press, and um, just a good performance in the first half. So Arlon Harper with the steal saves him behind his back there. He had 13 points in the first half, drives inside here for a basket, and that really looked like the Arlon of the last couple of years. Yeah, he's really come into his own. He's really playing well. Um, you can see there, once we start making some shots, teams stay out on our shooters and opens up a lot of driving lanes. Good defense by Matt, uh, contested shot, uh, contested two. Uh, that's the type of shot that we want teams to take. Coastal cut down to eight. You guys get a big run going into halftime here to kind of open it up 12-2. And Sa started off slow, but then got it going. It's tough to keep him down for long. Yeah, just a, a dynamic player, uh, really unselfish, finding shooters. Great shot in the corner there by Strick. Uh, we call that our drift corner, and uh, we always want that drift corner full because uh, when we penetrate, it's difficult for teams to decide if they're going to keep us in front or if they're going to be able to, uh, to cover the drift corner. So CSU up by 18 at the half, and the Bucks able to open it up a little bit here early in the second. Matt Candy with the three, Saad drives inside. Uh, your three guards in double figures again, and Will Saunders, five three-pointers, and he gets open looks. He's about as good as it gets. Yeah, when Will gets his feet set, uh, our guards do a good job of finding them, and his, his release, his follow-through is just uh, close to as good as you can get, like you said, in college basketball. He's a terrific shooter. What I liked about the, the second half is uh, we got up by 20. We kept it at 20. They would get it to 18. We would get it back to 21. It stayed right around 20 for most of the half until, until the very last couple minutes, and just some good execution. Didn't shoot it as well in the second half. Um, really had an opportunity to put that game out of reach, but defensively uh, stayed the course and uh, kept a comfortable lead and, and a good performance by our guys. He did a really good job on the glass, too, out-rebounded a coastal team that's perennially been one of the top rebounding teams in the league, is again. Ahaji Full had six rebounds, a couple of blocks, played pretty well against Florida State as well. That'd be key for you guys if he can give you some good minutes. Down He's long. a difference maker in the Big South. His size and his arm length and you know, sometimes it's difficult in that non-conference schedule for Ali because he's playing against 6'10", 6'11 guys every night, where in the Big South, he's one of the bigger players. And uh, that was the old Ali that, that we used last year to win a championship, a regular season championship. Six rebounds, couple blocks, changing some shots. He, he really has an effect on teams in the Big South. So Charleston Southern, impressive in its Big South opener, defeat Coastal Carolina. 70 to 58, Bucks traveled to Winthrop, a much improved Eagles team this past Saturday, and we'll take a look at some highlights from that game after this. You're watching the Barclay Rated Boss Show, sponsored by Cruise Chevrolet.
Welcome back to the Barclay Raider Ball Show, sponsored by Cruz Chevrolet. Kevin O'Rourke alongside the head coach of the Bucks. We took some, a look at some highlights from this past Wednesday's win over Coastal Carolina, and I'll get into some highlights from Saturday's loss at Winthrop and Pat Kelsey in his second year at the helm for the Eagles. Much improved team scoring the ball, and they were able to show that against you guys. Oh, yeah, they're playing with a lot of offensive freedom and uh, made some very difficult shots against us. Played very well. Coach Kelsey had them ready to go, and certainly a difficult place to play. And um, it has, has been one of the elite programs in our league and a real challenge for us going into the game. We knew it was going to be tough, and, and certainly uh, uh, Winthrop lived up to their billing as, as, I think, one of the best teams in our league. Top two three-point shooting teams in the Big South coming in. You guys did a good job from three in the first half. A couple of uh, steals here early. Saw Nimley with one, Paul Gomber with another. And Paul's outside shot has struggled at times this year, but seems to be picking it up a little bit in that department of late. Paul's playing well. He's a, he's, a, he's a real threat from us from the outside. And what Paul gives us, a lot of intangibles, really don't go notice sometimes. He takes charges. He's on the floor. He, he leads us in rebounding. And you can see here, Winthrop is making a lot of difficult long threes. And credit them. I mean, those are very difficult shots. And, um, they made them, and we're able to, to, to build a little bit of lead in the first half. We came roaring back and took a nice six-point lead, and, and then uh, they had a, a nice run to end the first half, and, and it ended up being a, a four-point game at half. As you said, seeing Winthrop got up 17-8, Bucks able to come back here. Sheldon Strickland, really good game for you guys, and his outside shot has been dramatically improved from last year. Great penetration by Sa right there. We want those two alleys, those two driving alleys created by good ball movement and people movement, good penetration by Arlon, and a, a nice step one, two, comfortable three uh, by, by uh, Strickland, and then a comfortable three uh, by Will. We want to shoot those threes that aren't contested. And sometimes we get a little too rushed, Kevin, and, and we want to attack a little bit too quickly. And if we can penetrate, kick, penetrate, kick, we're, often, we're able to get a little bit better shot than if we try to do it in one or two passes. Too many turnovers Saturday, Kevin. Just a lot of points by Winthrop off of turnovers and some costly turnovers by us. And, and um, that, along with second chance points by Winthrop, really spelled our doom. Seeing CSU's push here in the second half after Winthrop opened up a 14 point lead. You guys were able to get 11 straight and went to the bench and gave you some production. Sure, Cedric came in and was really good in the second half and were able to cut it to 54-51 and uh, really did a nice job and, and then Winthrop continues to hit tough shots. Credit them, but those are tough shots. And a contested three from 23 or 24 feet is, is something that uh, most teams aren't able to make and another contested three that goes in um, maybe we got to do a little bit better job of getting there a step earlier, uh, being a little bit more active and moving defensively during the flight of the ball instead of waiting till the uh, offensive player receives the ball and then, and then moving. Again, contested, tough shot. Credit Winthrop, those are tough shots. Uh, pretty good defense by us. Uh, they hit 15 threes. Uh, nine of them were contested. Uh, we had three defensive breakdowns. And, uh, and then there were a number that were uncontested, but a team that hits nine contested threes, that's, that's pretty tough to beat on their home court and give Winthrop a lot of credit. And we know it's gonna be a tough race. We weren't anticipating running away with it. We know every game's gonna be a grind and, and tough. And it's a 16 game Big South season. Uh, one game is not gonna make or break us. We lost at Winthrop last year and we're able to, to uh, finish the year strong and, and, uh, and win the regular season championship. So, we know that game can't make or break us. If we would have won it, uh, we, would, we would know that that game can't make or break us. And um, we've got to come back strong this week and really have two great performances at home. Two home games for CSU, as Coach said. We'll come back and talk about that. Presbyterian comes to the Buck Dome on Wednesday. You're watching the Barclay Raider Ball Show, sponsored by Cruz Chevrolet. Sa Nimley and Arlon Harper draw most of the attention from Charleston Southern's opponents, and for good reason. The Bucks' all Big South guards powered CSU to a regular season conference title last season, and the duo is a big reason why they are the favorite this year. The third starting guard in CSU's high-powered offensive attack, though, is giving opponents another element to deal with this season. Matt Candy, a local product from West Ashley High School, 
has been the Bucks' most efficient scorer. With 172 points through the season's first 15 games, Candy has outdone his scoring output from his first three seasons combined. A lot is just uh, confidence and people having confidence in me. With, uh, with when your coaches, when you feel that they really believe in you, it gives you a lot of you know it gives you a lot of confidence in yourself to keep it going and play well. At 6'3", Candy's ability to hit the three and get to the basket make him a tough match for opponents. Playing alongside two of the Big South's best players helps out as well. Like having Son Arlon on your uh, as also in the backcourt, it helps a lot because you know they they play really well almost every night, so you got to keep up with them. So that helps a ton. To say Candy's production has been unpredictable would not be an understatement. He did not score in six games as a sophomore two years ago and played sparingly in non-conference play last season. A call from his former AAU coach helped Candy reset his focus, and the playing time started coming as he helped CSU to the conference crown as a valuable contributor off the bench. Uh, that's uh, Richard Davis, actually. He, uh, he's helped me a lot, actually, with confidence and uh, keeping going what I've been doing. He, uh, he's, he texts me about almost after every game, tells me how well I'm doing, tells me what, what I can do better, what I should do. He's helped me a lot. He's taken it to another level this season. Candy has posted 10 double-figure scoring efforts, highlighted by a career-high 23 in CSU's double overtime win at Central Arkansas. I, I wasn't sure what to expect, but I knew I knew what I, I can do and what, I've, what I'm capable of, so it's been nice to get the opportunity and been really successful with it. Candy is making the most of his final campaign, and as one of six seniors on the Bucks roster, he and the whole club have one ultimate goal in mind. It means everything to us. It's pretty much NCAA tournament or bust. You know, we want to we want to win the conference regular season outright, obviously. But uh, without that NCAA tournament appearance, you know, the season really really wouldn't be what we want it to be. Welcome back to the Barclay Rated Ball Show, sponsored by Cruz Chevrolet. Kevin O'Rourke alongside the head coach of the Bucks as CSU gets set to host Presbyterian and UNC Asheville at the Buck Dome this week. And you get a Presbyterian team that struggled at times this season, but one of the better scorers in the conference in Jordan Downing. What kind of a challenge will it be to slow him down? Well, every Big South team is a challenge. Uh, Jordan is one of the premier players in our league, and he doesn't do it alone. Dillard is one of the best freshmen in our league, and any team that is coached by Greg Nybert is going to be a well-coached team that's going to play extremely hard. Uh, we've had battles with Presbyterian uh, the last three years. Every game has been a tough battle. Uh, they're tough-minded, uh, a, a tough-minded team that is very gritty and uh, take on the personality of Coach Nybert, who is a, you know, just an excellent longtime coach at, at, at Presbyterian, has been very, very successful there. And uh, we know it's going to, we're preparing for a tough game. Uh, I'm glad it's at home. It's a game we need, a uh, game we need our students out in force. We need the Buck Dome packed, and, and uh, we play well in front of a packed house. And our guys will be ready. Uh, we're disappointed in our performance at Winthrop, and we're ready to make amends for that. And, and come back and play very well against a, a talented Presbyterian, throw the record out. Uh, we know that they're going to come in here uh, with guns blazing and, and, and put on a great performance as Presbyterian always does. You mentioned some disappointment off the game Saturday at Winthrop. How would the guys come back off of that in practice? Well, it's, it's been tough. Uh, we're, we're, we're used to winning. Uh, we're expected, expected to win. We expect to win and uh, to put a performance like that out there at Winthrop where we didn't put our best foot forward, where we didn't play to our full capability offensively or defensively was a, a little bit disappointing. But again, it's a 16 game season. Uh, if we'd have won that game, they weren't going to give us the crown right then. We're going to have to earn it. Uh, it's going to be a fight. There's four or five teams in our league that are going to compete for the regular season championship. We're certainly one of those. And we know that we're going to have to fight every night. Um, Winthrop was ready to play and we weren't quite as ready to play. And uh, that's a great lesson for us. We learned some very valuable things from that game. Defensively, we have to be a step quicker. Uh, offensively, we need to share the ball a little bit better and not panic quite as much. Our guys' hearts are right. Their hearts are right. They want to do it. They want to compete. And as long as we have that, we're going to be OK. So you get Presbyterian Wednesday, and obviously you're not looking past them at all. But then UNC Asheville comes in Saturday. And they've been playing really well of late. It's winners of seven of eight, two and zero oh in the conference. So a tough week ahead. Yeah, very tough week. Uh, glad they're at home. Uh, two very tough teams coming in in the South Division, and uh, two games that we need to play well. And we respect both both coaches and both coaching staffs and both teams immensely. And we know we got to be ready to play. 
So a big two-game homestand this week for Charleston Southern Presbyterian on Wednesday, 7.30 tip at the Buck Dome, then UNC Asheville, 5.30 on Saturday. For Barclay Radebaugh, my name is Kevin O'Rourke. Thanks for watching the Barclay Radebaugh Show, sponsored by Cruise Chevrolet.